The ease of spread of information facilitated by the internet has created its own unique mythology with its own tales and legends. These range from creepypastas to SCPs, liminal spaces, and more. Among these tales and legends, several cryptids unique to the internet have appeared, from Slender Man to Siren Head and much more. In this video, we'll be covering more obscure cryptids that have originated on the internet or have been spread using it. In a thread posted on 4chan's X forum talking about the nature and possible origin of the infamous bloop sound, a user by the name of Diver Annan posted his own unique take on the origin of a bloop. Diver Annan claims that he's a diver and has heard a lot of stories and tales from other diver friends. Shared among many of those people, he claims, is the relatively obscure urban legend of a black carpet. The black carpet is allegedly a multicellular macrobiotic colonial organism formed of many smaller independent organisms. Diver Annan then continues to tell the stories of several people he knows who've encountered the black carpet. According to their descriptions, it's a flat creature with tiny feelers and transparent stalks protruding 20 feet upwards. People who've encountered it claim that seeing it move is like seeing the ocean floor itself move, since it stretches as far as the eye can see. In one other case, it was even seen swimming or riding the current above the ocean floor. One of Annan's diver friends described seeing the black carpet on one occasion feeding on the carcass of a dead whale using its feelers. As described by people who've encountered it, it produces sounds similar to the bloop, or a low-pitched distorted whale song. Almost everyone who's encountered it has heard its singing or humming sound. Its tentacles or feelers are considered extremely dangerous, since on one occasion, a diver claims that he had been stung by one and remained paralyzed for a period of time, where he was almost consumed by the creature. Diver Annan then claims to have talked to a marine biologist friend of his who's encountered the black carpet, and theorizes that it might have been one of the oldest forms of life on Earth. He describes it as a colony of several multicellular organisms able to act as a whole. It's also been set to adjust its size according to its needs, practically devouring itself when it's hungry and expanding once again when it's able to eat again. Its sound is said to be derived from how the separate organisms communicate with each other by vibrating and passing messages through vibration across the organism as a whole. Another creature that was mentioned in Diver Annan's threads is the Phantom Diver or the Black Diver. Diver Annan claims to have worked as a commercial diver on a deep sea oil rig. On one of his dives, he and his partner split up when Annan noticed a presence behind him. Turning around, Annan noticed his partner floating behind him and gave him the OK diving sign. When his partner returned it though, Annan was unexplicably terrified, claiming that the movement mimicked by his partner felt both uncanny and unhuman. Annan grew more terrified when he noticed something unusual about his partner. His partner in the diving suit didn't have any bubbles coming out of his regulator, no indication that it was working. At first, diver Annan was terrified upon realizing that, but quickly came to the conclusion that his partner's regulator might have malfunctioned. Annan rushed to his partner so that he could remove his regulator, and they could share Annan's rebreather until they ascended to the surface. Annan was frozen in horror when he came face to face with his alleged partner. Behind his diving mask was nothing, just emptiness. The diving suit was empty. When Annan touched at the top of his partner's head, the hood of his wetsuit squished inwards. There was no head there. That's when the seemingly sentient wetsuit moved, turning its head towards Annan and making the OK sign again, before it floated backwards, releasing a cloud of black smoke that Annan theorized might have been ink or blood which it then disappeared behind. Diver Annan claims that this is a relatively popular urban legend among divers, with many claiming to have seen a moving functioning wetsuit with a corpse or skeleton behind the mask or a complete emptiness like he did. Annan proposes a few theories. There are no phantom divers, but rather people who've seen them have hallucinated the encounter while under the influence of nitrogen narcosis. Another theory it proposes is that the sea is haunted and these are the ghostly spirits of divers who had succumbed to the ocean. Annan gives a third more likely explanation according to him. Those phantom divers are actually sentient, highly intelligent species of mimic octopus, or similar yet undiscovered species of cephalopods. He makes parallels between it and mimic octopuses, which are able to change their skin color and shape in order to camouflage themselves as a wide variety of coral, rocks, or other underwater creatures with incredible efficiency. Annan claims that this new highly intelligent species of cephalopod might be using the suits of deep sea divers who have died underwater to complete their disguise. Whether the cephalopods scavenged the ocean for the dead bodies of the divers to steal their suits, or whether they killed them themselves, is unknown. 
Anon then goes on to state that this creature's uncanny camouflage abilities and incredible intelligence would make it almost impossible to verify its existence. Black stickmen are two-dimensional creatures that resemble cartoon stickmen. These creatures have been sighted by various people, although sightings are relatively rare. Experiences and encounters have been shared on various paranormal websites and forums. Those who have seen them claim that they were usually massive and seemed unreal, as if they were superimposed on the 3D world behind them. They would occasionally use walls and flat surfaces as 2D surfaces to traverse, just like shadows, and have occasionally been seen to be wearing what seemed like top hats. Another similar phenomenon of 2D beings are the Texas Tilt Walkers, which have been sighted around Texas. According to the encounters, these are also 2D creatures but are more animalistic than their humanoid counterparts, usually having incredibly tall legs with a normal-sized body and head, and black fur and a humanoid face. They have been seen traversing terrain like mountains and cliffs with ease. The Fresno Nightwalkers are also creatures that could be attributed to this phenomenon, since they seem to be almost 2D in nature. This cryptid or creature was first mentioned on an asteroid thread about unexplained experiences, with the common being deleted and OP being banned afterwards. According to OP, while he was a 19-year-old living in Tybee Island, Georgia, he encountered an incredibly strange figure while at a beachside bar. Opie was with his girlfriend at the time. It was 9 in the morning so the bar was empty. The door opened and in enters a man who takes a seat between Opie and his girlfriend, despite the many empty seats available. The man was dressed in a Prada leather jacket, designer jeans and boots, and had spiky hair bleached at the tips. His teeth were yellowish and were sharper than usual, as if they had been slightly filed to a point, and his eyes were a light grey with his pupils remaining at pinpoint size throughout the whole encounter. The man then started skating with his fingers on the bar top which Opie noticed, since he used to do the exact same thing as a kid. The man then turned to Opie and spoke in a German or Nordic accent. I notice you're a man who pays attention to detail. I'm also a man who pays attention to detail, he said. He then continued talking to Opie and his girlfriend about their relationship, telling Opie that his girlfriend is beautiful and that he should pay more attention to her. As the conversation progressed, Opie became more and more convinced that the strange man talking to him was not human. He told his girlfriend to leave, fearing for her safety, after which she got up and moved to the coffee shop next door while Opie and the man continued their conversation. The man then told Opie that Opie was supposed to go fishing today, and that if he had gone, the man would have drowned him in the ocean, after which he hisses. Opie, in direct contrast to the terrifying situation at hand, suddenly begins feeling very calm. He simply asks the man who he is, which the man answers in a guttural language. OP could not understand, which he claims could have been Arabic or Hebrew but was most likely Aramaic. OP then tells the man to speak in the language he can understand. The man says that his name is Jimmy C and that he had jumped off a bridge in San Francisco to his death years ago. He then claims that they have been watching OP, after which always referring to himself as they. The man then continued to say some strange things like how they would watch OP taking a bath and how they too would love to feel the warmth of the steam on their skin. He also claimed that he knows Opie and that he's what crawls on his back at night in his room. Before leaving, Jimmy C points to his car parked outside, which had the license plate fierce. He then says that the next time Opie sees him, he'd be driving a different car, a black Mercedes with the license plate Utopia. After the encounter, Opie and his girlfriend agreed that what they had encountered was a demon. Ten years after the encounter, as OP lived in fear of the black Mercedes checking every license plate of every similar car that passed by him, OP reaches out to his now ex-girlfriend to make sure that the encounter had actually happened, and that it wasn't something he dreamt up or imagined. OP discovered that his girlfriend had kept a journal throughout the time, and he read the page that pertained to the date of his encounter with Jimmy C. He was shocked to discover the journal being almost identical to the story he remembers, with a few minor differences and additions. While all the internet cryptids mentioned so far have been mostly physical manifestations of a creature, this cryptid is a lot different. The Solar Plexus Clown Glider is a mind virus or a cognito hazard, a demonic parasite that feeds off human suffering and misery, and is simply transferred through language, imagery, or in some cases even sound. Reading the phrase itself, Solar Plexus Clown Glider, is said to give access to the creature through the Solar Plexus Chakra, possessing the host, and bombarding them with realistic hallucinations glitches in reality and weakening them emotionally. Many people who have claimed to suffer solar plexus induced hallucinations have reported seeing snakes or slugs 
slithering in their periphery. The host is then driven to beyond their fullest capacity to withstand psychological pain and therefore either goes crazy or simply has a lower quality of life from then on. It's also said that this creature can be transferred via the viewing of this popular black and white image that has been floating online, among other unknown images. The true nature of this cryptid is a mystery, with many believing it's an interdimensional demon or virus, or a mind deteriorating weapon created by the military and used and tested during MKUltra and other mind control experiments. <laughs>